for the really big chart. But I think this is a good chart and I highlighted some of the areas I think are particularly interesting. So with demagnetization, we can monitor the causes. We know the causes are temperature and we know it's negative d-axis flux or d-axis currents. So we can monitor those two things. We can look at the flux linkage. We can look at the negative d-axis currents. And again, understand why these faults might be happening or what's leading up to these faults. Now, demagnetization has a variety of effects. We have unbalanced line currents, torque ripple, increased losses, reduced average torque, harmonics in the back EMF, reduced back EMF, and reduced rotor flux. What does that mean? In my chart over here, we have three different winding configurations for three different motors. We have no DMAG in the left-hand column, um, some DMAG, and some more DMAG. Um, all right, if we demagnetize, you know, roughly 2%, we're seeing the RMS current in this first configuration increase 8% to make uh, roughly the same torque. So this is a constant-ish torque scenario. So all right, 8%, 5%, that's pretty, pretty big increase. And then we go to the different winding configurations and now we see plus 30%, plus 30%, plus 20%. So these are very notable things to make the same torque. We could also see torque ripple. You know, we have an increase or a decrease in 10% of torque ripple in this given configuration. We have an increase in 100% in 70% of torque ripple in these other two. These are things we can pick up on really easily from a measurement perspective. Um, you know, even if our efficiency changes are in the single percentage points, we, we can track the currents, we can track the torque ripples, we can track other things really early on so we can understand when this fault starts onsetting and how it increases with time. So I think this is pretty cool stuff. And this shows us for different winding configurations, we might need to monitor different things, but you know, 5%, 10%, that's really easy to look for from a measurement perspective on direct measurements. You know, you can monitor copper losses, but that's calculated. You increase measurement uncertainty. Current directly, that's a direct measurement. That's a really easy measurement to make over time and start to look at, is this creeping up? For even a very small amount of demagnetization. You know, we're not, we're not looking at big demagnetization in, in a lot of these. Cool, you're experts now. All right, so what can H-